Nick here from in, for Into Boxing and I'm delighted to be joined by Sunderland player Dan Neal. First of all, Dan, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, good. Just had a good day yeah, with uh, with Josh, uh, first time I've met him. So, yeah, I've, uh, I've enjoyed the day so far. Yeah, obviously, uh, had a little wonder around and a little chat about uh, about Josh. Obviously, he's got a fight in uh, in Newcastle this week weekend. Uh, tough opponent and that, but speak, just speaking to him today, what, what sort of like mentality do you think Josh is in for that heading into this fight? Yeah, he seems very focused. Uh, he looks in great shape. He looks he looks sharp. He looks ready. Um, been talking about his training camp and his weight and things, and he's pretty much on point with them all. And uh, he just looks raring to go. He looks like he's ready for the challenge on Saturday, and hopefully he can bring home the win. Obviously, we were talking earlier about diets between footballers and boxers. Fancy the boxing diet one day? Nah, definitely not. Definitely not. I've seen videos of them cutting weight, and nah, that ain't for me. That ain't for me. So, uh, obviously, yourself, you've got a massive game start of the season for Sunderland this weekend against Coventry. Obviously, been in, in pre-season, and how's pre-season gone for you, for you and the lads? And uh, what are you expecting for this season? Yeah, pre-season's been good. Um, I had a trip to Portugal. Um, where we played Rangers and Roma and played well. Uh, we've had a few games back home as well um, in England, and yeah, all the boys look ready and sharp. And I think we just can't wait for the for the whistle on uh, Sunday to, to kick things off. <laughs> Come on, I'm chatting a big one. Oh, yeah. I'm he's, he's to, I ain't challenging him with the boxes. He's got some height and length on him, you know, I'm telling you. We're going to get an arm wrestle between the two of you. No, you can't be doing that, lad. You're injured, nah, you know, on the, on the boy. <laughs> no, obviously, uh, just speaking there, Josh, about Sunderland and your, and your fight going into this weekend. Our roles reverse it. We spoke about diet earlier, footballer's diet and boxing diet. Fancy the footballer's diet? Oh, mate, yeah. After this fight, I'll be on the footballer's diet 100%. <laughs> no, nah, like, they, obviously, they've got to eat clean and they've got to fuel themselves. And they're not a weight making sport, so why do they have to do what we've got to do? Do you know what I mean? They don't, they don't need to, but it's uh, they need to fuel themselves. They've got 90 minutes of hard running, so and they need to be switched on. You can't be lagging, so it's different altogether, but it's it's uh, horses for courses. Talks was about your opponent this weekend. I think he's only had one defeat and that, so it's going to be a tough, tough opponent for you. But it's nice that you're obviously active and you're back in uh, another fight so quickly after your last one. He's got to be gear, mate. He's come from Argentina and he's he's got everything. He wants to win everything. He's he's sort of young and he wants to put himself out there. So he uh, he's definitely going to bring a uh, bring a good fight. But I'm going to be too strong, too fast, and I'm going to be just I'm I'll, I'll too switched on. Um, busy business and activity for me is massive and when I'm active I'm 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 lightning so yeah he's I think he's gonna struggle and I'm gonna get him out there on Saturday hundred percent. Obviously you won't look beyond your next fight um this weekend and that but obviously there has been the board of order Troy Williamson uh, British title. I spoke to Troy the other day I think he's game for it. He obviously as I say you won't overlook this fight but if you come through God willing Saturday night when when that is that a possibility? Hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's why I think it's going to purse base because I've, I've said yes. And like that's the fight where I would love. Do you know what I mean? But it'd be massive for the northeast. So me and Troy would be a great fight. I'm. Uh, uh, the, I haven't got Twitter, so I can't reply because my Twitter's been hacked. So like, I can't reply to anyone on there. So everyone's giving his, oh, we'll just take the fight. Of course I'll take the fight. You know what I mean? Don't worry about that. Come through Saturday. And when I come through Saturday, then that fight will be made. Obviously, Dan, you, you run out here in front of 30,000 people every every weekend or every other weekend and that. Just give us a feeling of that crowd running out and uh, one day can we see Josh maybe fight here at the stadium I like? Yeah, I was saying before, when you're in the tunnel, it's like it's like all the noise just gets like zapped down the tunnel. And as you come out, it's just this one big roar and, you know, it's hairs on your neck, stuff, adrenaline pumping through your veins, stuff. And, yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling. It gets you up for your task at hand and uh, hopefully, hopefully Josh is fighting here soon and he can feel that himself. Finally, predictions for Saturday. Josh, your fight first of all. How does it end? Mate, I just, I, I'm getting a W and they're getting a W end of, do you know what I mean? It's two Sunderland Ws, two red and white Ws, that's all you need to know. Big weekend in Sunderland and finally for yourself, Dan. Yeah, oh, hopefully we can get the win. I know, I know Josh is going to get the win. Hopefully he can get a big KO. Big weekend in the North East. Josh, Dan, thanks very much for going into boxing some of your time and uh, wish you both all the best of it this weekend. Thank you very much. Cheers, bro.